right, this is Nora Head, and uh, this is truly a spectacular location. Uh, mate, it's just, mate, it's like a freeway here, it's like a big plane. see there but it's underneath there wow so this coastline was very hazardous back in the day hence the lighthouse as you can see it's a very popular, popular rock fishing spot as you can see there are some very sensible people there with uh, life jackets on because that is what you need to and it's actually law to wear I think like the best life jackets of course the sea is very unpredictable you can get just that one wave and just whoosh, and they can be washed away so it's always advisable to wear a life vest when you go uh, rock fishing now there's no need to be macho about it because if you get knocked out at least you'll be floating because the sea it's very unpredictable. Here's one of the locals waiting for the fishing. This is here, it's Nora Head Rock Pool. Little known bathing spot here. It's a great spot for kids and things like that. So if you just want to chill out and not to worry about waves and wow, you know. Here is the rock pool here at Nora Head. It is man-made, so yes. Um, you making use of natural features, I would say. Bird Island was used as target practice. And so the reason why they make that island a no-go zone for people is because there are still there's still unexploded shells there. So they don't want people to go there and then walk along and all of a sudden, oh look, there's a shell. What's this? Boom! Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't go down well. It'll spoil your holiday, that's for sure. Amazing geological feature of the coastline. But the interesting thing about it is, uh, if 20,000 years ago, if we wanted to come to the beach, we would have to go another 30 kilometers that way, east. Because this, 20,000 years ago before the last ice age, was actually dry land. But when the ice age ended, the sea levels rose. So, the sea levels have been rising ever since. <laughs> 